How Stella Got Her Groove Back is a cult classic book and film that cemented author and creator Terry McMillan as a household name and an icon in African American entertainment and literature. After the success of several books, including the hit fictional novel Wade and Tex Hale, and the landmark film that followed, starring the likes of Whitney Houston, Loretta Devine, and Angela Bassett, How Stella Got Her Groove Back took many African American women on a trip to Jamaica into a realm of romantic fantasy. Some viewers may have not realized that How Stella Got Her Groove Back was loosely based on Macmillan's own real life experiences and her own trip to Jamaica, where she met her real life Jamaican husband, Jonathan Plummer. At the time, the story of a successful black woman finding love later in life had a fairy tale ending, but it would seem the real story was only beginning. Roughly seven years into the seemingly successful marriage, Plummer would come out as gay to his wife, shattering her expectations and making her rethink his motivations for. Even in the film, Angela Bassett's character, Stella, thinks the young, handsome man just sees her as a meal ticket and a means to get away from his Jamaican background and into a more financially secure space in the States. And in the same vein, Macmillan questioned if Plummer hid his sexuality just to have a safe way to leave Jamaica's homophobic environment. Though none of us can truly be sure of anyone's intentions in this situation, most of us do know that sexual identity can be very difficult for men to understand and deal with. Eventually, Macmillan and Plummer would make peace, and would even discuss the details of his ordeal on a tense but healing episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show. Since coming out, Plummer has vowed to be more open and honest with his future partners, and even briefly hosted an internet TV series titled No More Download TV, a TV show dedicated to having open conversations about gay relationships in the black community. Plummer would eventually author his own book as well, seemingly making his own fictional version of his romantic Jamaican story with, with Macmillan, titled Balancing Act in 2007.